Since ancient time, all prime upward mobility has aimed to climb the stairway to nobility. For instance, when King Charles was on the throne, that merry monarch oozed testosterone, and at his beck and call, from far and wide, his need for women had to be supplied, which meant, where once a subject laid his life down for his king, he now must lay his wife. With this advantage that these royal snogs made instant peers of the resultant sprugs. No sooner born, these bastards he begat, than Duke of this, the Marchioness of that, and so on. And though Charles has passed away long since, his progeny were here to stay, flaunting in castles, abbeys, stately homes, the proud connections of their chromosomes. And right up to the reign of Queen Victoria, they swanned around in privileged euphoria, ruling the country's horny-handed hordes from the soft benches of the House of Lords. Until death duties, vile Lloyd George's tax that laid these sons of bitches on their backs as one by one great families went bust, except those rescued by the National Trust. But recently, their reading status quo has felt an even heavier body blow. New Labour, swept to governmental glory, observed their lordships tend to vote as Tory. So to correct this obsolete tradition and sweep away encrusted opposition, they axed this rule by accident of birth and filled our upper chamber up with worth. Bold men of stature, Enterprising, wise, were judged more fitting for this grand franchise, while rising women, too, received awards installing ladies in the House of Lords. One matter, though, still merits close inspection, and that concerns the matter of selection for those put forward for such elevation. Now, let's scotch all hint of Baxter's levitation, like scurrilous hacks suggesting there have been offers of cash replenishment for party coffers, that chaps, instead of wives, lay down their dosh. This charge just will not wash, for it implies the dealings of democracy do not much differ from the aristocracy. Though whereas whores of yore must paint to please, we moderns get the naked face of sleaze. So, if degrading upgrades once held sway, there's nothing like them on the cards today. Our PC system draws, we're told, first-hand, new nobles from the noblest in the land. Each one, like Caesar's wife, above suspicion, and filling every ethical condition required for a patrician politician.